thanks for joining me. Today I'm sharing a time-lapse process video of this acrylic painting of Ian Hencher as an elf. I'm Tanya from Tartan Task Creates. Let's get started. This video begins with me painting in some of the important information such as the facial features and the shape of the head etc. Now this video is not going to be a blow by blow, this is what I'm doing. The video is going far too fast for this. This is a painting that has taken me a number of sittings, so many hours of, of work and I've condensed it down into five minutes. However, if you watch to the end, what you will get is inspiration as well as information on how to source your own reference to enable you to create your own painting. Today, with technology as it is, there are loads and loads of ways in which you can get reference material. What you really need to be careful of is copyright laws. Now, this video is not long enough to go into the details of it, but suffice to say, in short, you really must gain permission to use any photographs that have not been taken by yourself. Copyright free websites such as Paint My Photo already have permission attached to the photograph by the fact that they have been uploaded to the website. The one warning I would have about these types of websites is be careful of the unscrupulous people who upload photographs that do not actually belong to them. One way around this is to always search your image on Google. For this painting, I asked permission from Ian Hencher if I could use one of his photographs. I follow him on Instagram, but he also has a YouTube channel and I will leave a link in the iCard. I simply sent him a direct message asking if I could paint his portrait and he was kind enough to respond and uh, say yes. Now, as he is an actor stroke model, many of his photographs are actually the property of the photographer that took them. So I've actually used one of his selfies that he took of himself dressed as an elf and changed up the background to make it look like he was outside. In fact, the selfie that I picked didn't even show the elf ear, so I used a little bit of artistic license and I made sure that um, his ear was showing so that it was obvious he was an elf. Another good way of gaining reference material is to take photographs of either yourself, family or friends. Your painting doesn't have to necessarily look like your reference, it's just a way of putting in the correct facial features, the correct proportions, etc, etc. When your portrait takes up much of your space, as mine does, there's very little else to worry about in terms of your reference requirements. More complicated compositions would be a good subject for another video, another time. For now though, I would just like to say thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed watching this painting unfold. And I hope that the information that I have given you has been useful with regards to how you can get reference material for your next portrait. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this. Perhaps you might have a burning question you would like to ask. Pop it in the comments and I will do my best to, to answer. If this has whet your appetite for future content, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. And again, don't forget to hit that bell. That way YouTube will notify you of any future videos 
that come up as and when they're available for you. Lastly, a big thank you and shout out to Ian Hencher. You are such an inspiration and were a joy to paint. So take care everybody. Creative sparkles to you all. Bye for now. See you in the next video.